ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Toscano. Thank you to Power Mac and Hi-Fi. When you get to learn how to do podcasts, you will now be able to identify what it means to communicate to your students, communicate your content. In distance education, audio is another format for you to share your content. There are four reasons that audio-based learning resources something that you would like to consider also. Number one, audio-based learning resources allows for memorable cues that can help students retain and understand information from the speaker. Second, it works with digital or printed text or modules to enhance and allow and engage learning. It allows for inclusivity, easier to access, whether it's radio or smartphone. I also love to ask my students to create their own audio file. A podcast, it's also a project. Don't forget about audio because there are a lot of students who can do well, especially when you give them freedom to choose. When the door beats, when the door beats.